Hello, my name is Julian Hoffman, and I'm going to read a short section of my book, Irreplaceable. And this short section is set on Brighton Pier in this late afternoon in winter. Eight starlings hustled overhead like a fan of thrown darts, roving the glimmering grey sea between piers. A minute later, and another twelve had joined them, followed by countless small additions and accretions over the next quarter of an hour, so numerous that I could no longer keep track of their source. It was as if they were simply materialising from within the growing assembly in an endless process of self-replication, or being sieved unseen from the sea, as if in response to the swirling birds, several hundred of them now fusing into a mass of rippling black felt, dark clouds billowed westwards, pressing the last of the winter light into a thin, shining seam between horizon and sky. And from that sliver of crushed sun, the rays flared outwards and over the sea, raining light on the wheeling birds. Murmuration is the word given to these grand assemblies of starlings, descended from the Latin murmur, meaning to surge, though a friend of mine offered a lexical variation. He said it sounded a bit like a compendium of murmur and admiration, which seemed about right to me, and I suspect to the many others gathered that evening. Not merely the ones who'd arrived especially for this regular winter event, but for those unknowing visitors pulled in by the sheer, unexpected magic of it all. For the murmuration was difficult to ignore. It trembled off the coast as if the dancing images of a cinema reel were being projected onto the air itself. Mum, look at this side, cried a young boy, trampolining with joy on the wooden boards. They're over here as well. And so we all followed him to the other side, as though the pier were in fact a tilting ship in a storm, its passengers sliding back and forth across the deck with the swell. The starlings were incoming now, their sky vessel moored for the night. The murmuration began to unravel and fray, each buoyant weave falling towards the sea before being drawn down in long ribbons into the structure of the pier itself. And within seconds, the dreamscape of birds had vanished from air.